Hello, you are watching The Garden Corner Show. And as you know, we are a show where we're crazy passionate about everything gardening. I am J-Dog, John Carsroom. I'm out here with Mr. Dave, who is holding up his umbrella, holding steady. Thank you very much, Mr. Dave. We wanted to, oh, hey, let's do some quick shout out, shall we? Always excited? To Denise Corsetti. Hi, Denise. To, oh, Denise. That is a beautiful dog, by the way. That's just a gorgeous dog you have. And cute kid, too. Tracy Anderson, go Tracy. Carolyn Miller, I'm your fan, Caroline. Uh, it's Caroline, I'm sorry, I said Carolyn, it's Caroline. I am your fan. And Melina Tur Terrell, Anita Phillips, and Elizabeth Kinney, welcome to the show. I hope it helps. I hope it brings something good for you in your life. Hey, I want to talk to you about some more trimming and what to do about Capressus Swain's Golden, Capressus Glauca, and Capressus Tiny Towers. What the heck am I talking about? I am talking about the Italian Cypress, which are very, very regal. Hang tight. What I like to do with these guys at the end of winter, beginning of spring, what happens is you get the lazy arms that pop out on these guys. And I want to tell you a little bit about trimming in general, by the way, So, because we're going to go over a couple of plants. Uh, Italian cypress, big thing. You can pop that back in, tie it in hopes that it strengthens up. I do the exact opposite. I say, well, if it's a lazy arm, I'm going to chop that right off something like that, don't worry, it pops right back. So when you, when you clip a bit, it really makes a difference, especially if you do that right now. It makes a difference on how it turns out during the summer months. So you can, uh, now the Capressus, this really is famous for that tight, very straight up, very narrow columnar look to it. So by giving it a good haircut, you really accentuate that look. Did I use that word accentuate correctly? You think so? Um, and it also strengthens the tree. So later on, as it grows older, now you'll notice this has a bare spot in here because of this, um, of this bamboo state. Now, if it was a big branch that was a lot older and I had to clip that out, it would, you know, it would be a lot more uh, barren. So when it's small, it will certainly fill in. Also, right now, you'll notice on the capressus that's starting to, um, I don't even say cone out a bit. So I, you can you can give those a little a haircut as well. Those are those little cones that come out. Or I want to say seed heads if you want to. Um, but giving that a good trim. Now these guys are really tall. I really got to get up there. So is that starting to make a difference, Mr. Dave? Can you see it? Let's see here. Let me get all the way around. So, and also, it's not that difficult to do on your own. You need not have to have a total professional come out. Heck, I'm still, I'm even doing it. So, and you can start seeing it just gets that little bit of form. Now, I can see up where I'm way on top, and we have to tie it to that stake a little bit just to straighten it out some. But at least it gives it a little bit more, a little bit more columnar look without those lazy arms sticking out. So uh, I will just go over some other types of, of shrubs that you might want to trim right now. So shall we? Let's go take a look. Now anything that is topiary is a great time right now in the early spring to be giving that a haircut. So even just to keep it ever so slightly tighter. Now I trim these already in the fall as well. So there's not much damage to it nicely. Certainly prune out, uh, prune out any of the brown spots, but just a nice light haircut. And if you didn't get it in the fall, you might have a, um, you know, a, 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 a much more to cut off. 
But again, this is a great time to prune because you won't make a mistake. It's just going to grow out quickly. So get all the edges, accentuate the ed ed edges particularly. So, so any of your topiaries, whether they're junipers, whether they're uh, types of wax leaf privets, this here is a Spartan juniper. And let me show you another shrub that would do well giving it a good trim right now. So does that show a little bit more of the form to that? I didn't take off much anyway, but so it just cleans it up just a hair. And like I said, it really makes a difference in, in the springtime and in the summer on that look on your topiaries. So let's go take a look at another one. So, and of course now, uh, any kind of topiary, is a, it's a great time to be, to be pruning those. But also, any of the, if you have a box honeysuckle hedge, now this is the box honeysuckle, this is Lanisera, um, oh, I forgot the name, Lanisera something or another. Whatever, what is the name on this guy? This one says, oh, Lanisera nitida. Um, now these are great, box honeysuckles by the way are wonderful for a topiary. Only problem is they do require a good shearing several times of the, in the year. So, but the, uh, if you really like to prune, and, and this is something I, I, I like, I enjoy because something relaxing about this is it's almost, almost, I, I even hate to say it's almost zen-like to be to, to be pruning this. But uh, any of the box honeysuckles, also box wood. This is a great time to be pruning too. Again, not to worry too much if you if you uh, make an error if you cut too deep. I'm trying to give a big wing right here. Um, if you uh, if you cut too deep, because it'll just pop right back out. So. Um, so have some confidence in when you prune. So is that starting to look kind of like a duck? What do they say? It looks like a duck. Quacks like a duck. I say if it looks like a duck, it's a duck plant. This has a lot more, and it's probably more than I can uh, get in this one video, but I like doing it so much, I can do this all the time. Let me show you a couple other ones too, shall we? Now, this guy here is a mint julep juniper, and this is pruned. Normally, it's, this is a very odd shape for this guy, uh, just as a, as a container screen. And this is just a wonderful one if you want just a nice deep green backdrop in a container on a deck. But, um, oh, I like the smell of this too. Um, uh, one thing about trimming, so you can trim certainly along the edge here, but anytime you trim any of the junipers, any of the arbovitis up here on top, when, what happens is you won't get a whole lot of growth coming from the top. Uh, what you do really when you prune the top is you start promoting all the growth underneath here. So, so it'll thicken this whole area up. So anyway, it's a great chance you can flip over your, if you want a nice quicker, a uh, nice edge, flip over your pruners or your, your shears to the edge. So, gosh, I've just gone over several plants and I've only, only done a half job on all of them. <laughs> but I promise you, I'll go back and do a better job on that. Anyway, that's some tips on pruning. It's a great time right now. You certainly don't have to do it in the rain unless you want to get away, uh, uh, away by yourself. Anyway, hope that helps. If it doesn't, here's your quote for the day. It is, consider the postage stamp. Its usefulness consists in, the, in its ability to stick to one thing until it gets there. Thank you very much, Josh Billings. That's, uh, that's the show for the day. Always remember, live your passion. TV screen.